Okay, all the valve bodies are done. They're brazed. The machining is done. So you, you can see, hopefully, through them now. There are four steps in the opening. Um, a hole saw and then three reaming steps to get them to a specific size. Once they're at that size, they're not at the finished size to put pistons in yet, but from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edges off of the notches on the top. I'm going to hand scrape the inside of the casing itself. So every port, every knuckle that has an entrance into the valve section has now got a burr on the inside from, from machining. So I'm using a half round scraper to go in and I'll hand scrape the tops and then I'll flip the casing and do the opposite side. Um, but that's what happens next. And then I'm going to straighten out all of the knuckles. Um, brazing, inevitably, you're going to have things move. So I go back at this point before everything is attached, before it even has balusters on it, and make sure that everything is square again. So right now, behind the camera on the bench, there are seven other casings, six of which are scraped, and two are left after this. So this is what I'm doing. I reach in, there's a guard that I use protect the casing itself and I'm going to reach in and place this half round cutter on the inside of each knuckle and I'm going to cut that away by hand. You get used to doing this after a while. Casings are very sharp on the top and on the bottom. Over time you get used to what you can grab and what you shouldn't grab. And you work the way around the valve set. I always start in the first port and work down the line, first, second, third, fourth. And I'm watching as I go so that I'm not creating any damage inside. I have a number of different scrapers I can use should I get a burr that I can't remove with this one. But this scraper, when I made it, is just the correct size to get into the port which is not round, it's elliptical, and remove that burr that's in there. And it doesn't take a lot. When you're first doing this step, when you're first learning to make casings, you'll cut yourself quite a bit doing this. It's normal. You either learn how to do it correctly or you find something else to do. You can't hear this, but with each one of these that I cut, you can hear little chips hitting the floor. This is how each casing is prepared before it's honed, before there are balusters put in place. And it's important to have a light over your shoulder so that you can tip the casing and you'll see the reflection of the, uh, the chamfer that you're actually creating by scraping by hand. Sometimes they get hung up and you just have to be patient. And I've scraped, in the time I've done this, I've scraped thousands of casings. So if it looks like I'm going fast, it's just not my first time doing this. I'll be back with balustering, I suppose. That'll be the next thing. And then I'll show the actual honing step when that's squeezed.